Hey guys, today we're going to do the seven best booster boxes to open. And what I'm basing this off of is my own experience opening booster packs. So I've opened booster packs from each of these sets. And also like, I guess what I felt at the time when I was opening them and how epic it would be to open them again. Number seven, Zendikar. So Zendikar is fantastic. In the beginning, there was something called hidden treasures. In every case, you would have one hidden treasure. So as long as you purchased like a case, you had the opportunity to get a dual land, a, a moat, all types of really expensive cards. In addition to every single booster pack had a full art land. And every so often booster pack would have a foil full art land. In addition to the fetch lands. Yes, there was a tremendous amount of value in every single pack and it was pretty consistent because a box is going to definitely have at least a few fetch lands. Number six, Innistrad. Innistrad was pretty much a way to bring more people to Magic. It was at the time the best selling set by far. Uh, Magic had just returned to Meriden and the new Phyrexia. That entire plot wasn't really that fun and before that plot we had JC Mind Sculptor dominating standard and making a lot of people quit the game of magic. Innistrad was in many ways salvation to ma the game of magic because honestly I would not have I returned during Innistrad as well I sold my collection before Innistrad but Innistrad was so fun that and it's a great set to open. Number five this is a personal favorite of mine I still try to get boxes for like 120 I know that's really cheap to get but sometimes Sometimes a store will sell it to me for that. Avacyn Restored. Avacyn Restored, what else can you ask for? Five Mythic Angels, including Avacyn. Um, you got Bruna, you, I mean, four Mythic Angels, including Avacyn. Grizzlebrand is like the fifth angel, if you will. Uh, miracles, Miracles, like Bonfire used to be very good. Temporal Mastery, still one of my favorite cards. Uh, overall, just Avacyn Restored was one of the most fun sets, in my opinion, to open. And the pre-release, Hellvault aside, was just a ton of fun. Number four, Modern Masters. Now my Modern Masters, the original as number four because it changed the way that we look at modern today. And yes, it actually raised the price of Tomogoyf, that is well documented, but it showed everybody that Modern Masters would continue to reprint cards and will continue to tank prices. Yeah, number three, Urza's Saga. Um, among the, you know, Duress, the Exhum, the Priest of Titania, those were common. Pestilence was a common. Oh my goodness, there were so many good cards. Gaia's Credo or Gaia's Credo. Man, just like, I just have so many fond memories of this set. The set, oh, Time Spiral was banned. <laughs> I mean, this set was just bonkers crazy in terms of power level i mean just the cards in common and uncommon windfall no, i don't think windfall what's windfall in here but um just wow just wowzers this was a very fun set number two unlimited unlimited i'm putting above revised because unlimited you could still get power nine and that's super important right because you want to get power nine now unlimited obviously the booster packs are very expensive i only opened two of them and I don't remember what I got because back in th those days, like getting a dual land is not a big deal. I definitely didn't get a Mox or a Lotus. I would have known if I got a Mox or Lotus, a Time Walk or a Recall or a Time Twister. I, I didn't get any of those cards, but I may have got like a dual land. I just don't remember because dual lands weren't that good back then. Now, the number one booster box I would want to open would be beta. I've my first card um, was the beta dragon whelp. My first pack was a beta pack uh, way back in the day. And I wish I had purchased more. Um, I still have all most of the cards from that beta pack, including the lands. The Northern Paladin was my rare, but I opened a dragon whelp. So I was like, oh, dragon whelp's definitely the uh, rare because this Northern Paladin card sucks. Well, yeah, I also had a Karma, which is, I still have that card. I kept most of my beta cards and a beta lightning bolt actually, uh, because it's, you know, it's the first pack you open. And that's why I would rank it as number one. 